Stephen Eskenazi and here we are, uh, Radlett at the end of the game, lost by three wickets. Tough graft out there today, put a really good shift in, but just on the wrong side of it. Yeah, really proud of the efforts today. Um, we knew we had a tough job ahead of us today with a quality deep batting lineup, and I thought the boys did an incredible job. We kept it tight, we kept ourselves in the game until well after lunch, and we thought we gave ourselves a good chance to win the game. Um, I don't think we lost the game today. I think we lost the game yesterday afternoon and maybe at 3 for 30 in their first batting innings. Um, but can't fault the efforts today. Certainly some positives, but we'll be looking back disappointed on a couple of key moments over the four days. Absolutely, I'd agree with that. Yesterday, probably 50 runs short, extra 50 runs would have made all the difference. Yeah, 100%. Our responsibility was on Gubba and myself out there at 100 for two to put the game to bed. A um, couple of poor shots and, and you know, let them back into the game. So we understand that's an area we need to get better. We're making baby steps, we're taking responsibility and we understand that we were probably 45 minutes to an hour away from putting the game away from Hampshire um, and that's what we'll be looking to do in the next three games for sure. How do you assess the performance overall as captain? I mean, there were some missed chances. You mentioned a few batting failures, some loose strokes. I think we performed pretty admirably with the ball. How do you assess it overall? Yeah, an unbelievably up and down game. Great game for the neutral. Um, you know, that's what four day first class cricket is. It's, it's unbelievably tough, it's difficult, and it's unpredictable. I um, think there were certain periods in the game where we had control and we relinquished it, and they could probably say the same. So yeah, difficult one to sum up, but we're definitely taking positives from this game. Um, but we're a side that pride ourselves on bouncing back from performances like this. So we'll take those positives into Kent next week and, and know we're going up against a tough opposition there. One huge positive again to take is the performance of Tim Murta. He just keeps going and going. 39 years old, metronomic, another seven wickets in the game for him. Yeah, incredible. Um, this wicket suits him down to the ground. I think when guys come up to face him, they don't exactly know what to do. So he's a great person to have up my sleeve um, in situations like this. And his heart today was incredible. You couldn't get the ball out of his hand. Um, and it was unbelievable from him. Um, I thought Chilean at the other end did an incredible job and they almost took us home. So very proud of those boys. Absolutely. How satisfying is Skipper to have some of those youngsters stepping up? Martin, 92 in the first innings. Tills you mentioned in the second innings, great to see the youngsters chipping in. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's the nature of this competition with no overseas. Um, and I think as you can see around the country, there's some young guys putting their hand up and that's amazing for the clubs. Um, it's opportunity these guys may not have got elsewhere or, or in a different season. So yeah, it's over the moon for these guys to be able to put their hand up. Um, and I think now they just got to settle into trying to be able to do that week in, week out. Um, they're as much of a part of the side as Sam Robson and Tim Merton now. And they're expected like we all are to perform consistently. Absolutely, Eski, a tough one to swallow this one. We go to Kent next. Uh, any thoughts on changes to the side or, or just going to see how the week rolls out? Yeah, look, I think boys have bought a lot of overs the last two weeks. We'll be assessing that as we go. Um, the belief is high. One, two bad hours in a week doesn't make you a bad cricket side, especially coming off a good performance last week. So we take the positives, we take confidence, and we know our squad's going to win us this competition. So we'll be going there looking forward to it.